Howdy students! So, I wanted to show you how to create and add error bars in Sheets. I know I talked about it before, but this would be great uh, for you to, uh, to see, and you can follow it step by step just in case you're a little bit confused on how to do it. So, let's go! Uh, by the way, this graph is really funny. Look at this. Look at this error bar, guys. Look at that. What type of confidence could you have in that? So we're going to work with this data, and we already looked, worked with it before. It's the uh, you know shell length of the the muscles, um, and uh, we have the two groups. I just want to show you how to do average uh, or the mean, uh, the standard deviation. Um, in fact, I'm just going to put in mean here so you remember uh, the standard deviation, uh, the standard error of the mean, and then calculate the confidence error intervals, which are going to determine our uh, uh, determine our error bars. So, again, to calculate the average, there are multiple ways to do it. Uh, I think the easiest way is to type equals. Again, anytime we want uh, sheets, Google Sheets to calculate something for us, we need this equals. Um, and then you want it to be an average, so you type a, b. Um, the one I want you to pick is the average one, numerical average value in a data set ignoring test text so click the average and then you'll get an open parentheses you will select the full data set so the entire thing for group a hit enter uh, and actually that automatically closes it if you look this is where up in here is where you will see the formula in case you're confused about what it is you just click a cell and see that it is uh, what it is, and it's read out right up here near this FX. Uh, so we'll do the same for B. And you could just copy and paste this and it would work, or you can drag the little box over, but I'm going to do it just to show you a couple of times for each of these. So again, it's AV, type AV, click average, you could type out the entire average, select the full data set. All right. So again, we're trying to get to the standard error of the mean, that big S with the little uh, X uh, uh, with the bar over it, symbolizing the mean. Um, but in order to do that, remember it's S over the square root of N, so we have standard deviation. So we can do the standard deviation the same way we did the average. We type ST, uh, and if you look, this first one, ST dev, just says standard deviation. We click that. Again, we select the entire data set, not including the average. Then we should get 11.36. Again, equals STDEV for standard deviation. Select this whole set. Good to go. Now the SEM, that's where we use the standard deviation. And again, we want it to be equals to calculate something. We click the cell where we all already have the standard deviation. Uh, we want to divide by the square root of the number. Uh, and again, a lot of people think 17. Don't forget about these two up here. So it is 15 samples that were taken. Um, so that is going to be our N. S, Q, R, T, and then 15. The number of samples that we have. That's called normalizing it. It's what standard error of the mean does. And again, uh, we can do click here and go equals uh, standard dev, the standard deviation up here, divided by sqrt for the square root of 15. So we have 15 samples again. Okay. Now the final thing that we want is to, uh, just real simple calculation, uh, the 90, we're going to have 95% confidence in anything uh, two times the standard error of the mean above the mean and two times the standard error of the mean below the mean. So those are going to be our error bars that we're going to put in next. Confidence intervals equals two, uh, the times, remember that shift eight, uh, which gives us the asterisk, and then this value right up here. And that's two times equals two asterisk the SEM, which is the value right above here. 
So now for group A, we have confidence intervals based on the SEM of 2.934, but we have confidence intervals of 5.86. And group B gives us confidence intervals of 3.67. So now let's make a graph with this. Uh, so we're going to do group A, group B. Move it over here. Uh, we have the average. And it's probably going to be angry about it. So what you can do to copy and paste these is you can copy the 61 and 33 that we figured out for our average. And then you're going to go here. You're going to uh, click, uh, click the cell that you want to go in. And then you're going to go edit, paste special, paste values only. That way we it's not trying to calculate. This one here is calculating it. So if you... Uh, just copy and paste it. It just takes the formula and that's trying to reference group A and group B. And again, these are just texts, not numbers like we have over here. So you just want the values. So you uh, click there again, go to edit, go to paste special, paste values only. Okay, this is all the information we need for our graph. So we select that information and then we click the little insert chart button up here. Or we could go up here. I'm just going to show you this one. Insert chart. Okay. Awesome. Oop. Okay. So, uh, again, we don't want. Oh, I got angry and trying to make two of them. I'm going to delete this one just so we can go with here. Fix this guy. Okay. So again, that'll be produce this pie chart, likely. Um, the pie chart, uh, we don't want, remember, that's not a great way to show it. So we're gonna make a column chart. Okay, and here is where uh, I wanted to, to emphasize. Uh, a lot of us were getting this before, some people were getting other things. Uh, we figured out that the way to make sure that you have two separate data sets here, which we do, we have group A and group B, is to click this switch rows and columns. Now we have a group A and we have a group B and now we can work with them separately. So that's what we're gonna do. And again, it's so much easier. Uh, I know there's other ways to do it, but I think the old chart editor is the best way to go. So that's where we're gonna go back to. So click use the old chart editor. Now we have this chart editor. We need to add error bars. Scroll all the way down to the bottom again. Uh, you see the series here in red. You don't want to do it for all columns. We're just going to work with group A first. And we're going to add error bars. You're going to hit constant. And you're just going to use this value that we figured out for our confidence intervals. You can even copy it. Oh, no. Just type it in. That's the easiest way to do it. 5.868. Constant. Good. Now, you may need to move your chart editor over more. You may need to hit update. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that so we can show you how to get back into it. So we have this first one here. Looks great, right? Okay, update. We're gonna move the graph over so we can see the confidence intervals for the next one. Okay, so it's 3.67. So again, at this point, you can click Edit Chart. Uh, three dots at the upper right, Edit Chart. Uh, use the old chart editor again. Again, that's what I like. I think it works great. All right, and again, scroll all the way down. Uh, we've already done Group A, so now we're gonna switch over to Group E. Uh, we're going to move this again so we can see the 3.67 uh, and we're going to go to constant so we see it automatically defaults to 10 but let's do 3.67 and it should update and now we have our error bars. Uh, you can, uh, again, continue to edit um, these things and uh, fix 
each of these. That's These are all titles that you would uh, fix, but maybe I think you guys could definitely do that. Uh, but we can now see our error bars, maybe something that's a little uh, foreign, something you aren't quite used to looking for. And remember, we can see now these two means. We see our error bars here, 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 here. Uh, if you look all the way across here, if you look all the way across here, we see that these are non-overlapping error bars. So using this calculation, we have a 95% confidence uh, in the fact that the means, the, uh, the averages, these two groups, uh, group A and group B, are statistically different. So uh, I really hope that was helpful.